Hey y'all, and welcome to day 111 of my whole DDPY life change thing. I have not been filming updates regularly because these are weird times we're in right now. Um, so I'm trying to settle into a new normal. It's been a little over a month, I guess, since I've been um, sheltering in place or self-quarantining or whatever the PC word for it is right now. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just thought I would kind of give a little bit of an, an update on how my DDPY thing is happening with this whole weird situation. So I've really been trying over the past couple of weeks to kind of lock into a good routine and schedule. And um, so for work, I, I am working from home. Thankfully, I'm able to do that. And um, I have a set kind of schedule for that. And um, I've also been super, super, super busy up until this week. I had a bunch of bunch of deadlines. I still, I'm still busy, like I still work steadily throughout the day, but it's not as deadline driven this week. So I'm grateful for that little bit of a break. Um, and originally I was planning to get up early and have a workout in the morning and then have a workout in the evening. But thanks to Kristen Nava doing live workouts now, I have kind of adapted to doing like one long workout at a time, so between 45 minutes to an hour, which is crazy for me because prior to this, um, but, and by this I mean the whole staying at home thing, um, I was barely making it through a 20 minute workout. Not necessarily because I couldn't physically do it, but because mentally I kept crapping out on myself. and. Um, and so thankfully, because of her live workouts, I've kind of now gotten accustomed to doing longer workouts. And if I, if I do like a 30 minute workout or something, I feel like it's not enough. And so on those days, I wind up doing something else as well because I feel like I need the extra, you know? Um, so as far as my workouts go, it's been going really, really well. Um, I'm on round two, so I finished beginner and I'm on intermediate now, um, but I'm not really following the program that the app gives. Um, I'm just kind of picking, um, either picking two of the, the other workouts kind of in the beginner intermediate range on the app or doing a live, whether it's an actual live with Kristen or one of the previous lives that's on the app. And so, so like for example, today um, I took 30 minutes and did one of Kristen's live workouts um, earlier this morning. Um, and I'll do so I'll do something again tonight but uh, last night I did one with Nitra um, from back in February I think it was and um, so so it's been really really good um, as far as the workouts go the eating part is the part that I've kind of been struggling with I actually um, around the 100 day mark for me I actually hit that minus 50 pounds so that was really exciting but since then I've kind of been losing and gaining the same like three to five pounds. And so I know that portion size and like snacking is is my main, my main issue there. I, I'm not like eating a whole lot of bad stuff. I don't even wanna call it that, like food that I wouldn't normally, normally eat, like processed foods and sugary foods and fried foods and things like that. I'm not really eating that. It's just, I'm, I feel like I'm eating more and eating more frequently throughout the day just because I'm home and, and you know, struggling with the whole, you know, bored versus hungry kind of situation. So, so this week I'm trying to focus on my portion sizes, listening more to like my hunger cues and stuff and, um, and in those moments where I'm feeling a little snacky, you know, kind of having a talk with myself and and thinking about, am I hungry or am I tired? So so that's kind of the game plan for this week. My, my general routine though has been, I wake up, I have some Jesus time and I eat breakfast and I start my work day. Um, and then I work straight straight through the day. Usually I just stop to, normally I will stop only to eat lunch really quickly and then I go back to work. And so then I will um, either work out or eat dinner and those kind of flip flop depending on the day. Um, and, uh, and then I always have to shower after because I'm a sweaty mess. And, uh, and then I've been doing some art stuff. So um, we, I used to do watercolor um, 
and mostly it was in using it in conjunction with my journals um, and my Bible reading and stuff. And so, um, but I kind of got away from it and finding time when I was trying to focus so much energy on working out, it kind of fell by the wayside. But we started making homemade cards to give with some food baskets that we're doing um, with my church. And so that gave me a good kick in the butt to start making time to art again. And so I've been practicing, um, especially this flower. It's called a ranunculus, but I call it the redunculus flower because I love the way that that sounds. And um, so I've been practicing them and, um, and other styles so that I can use them on the cards. And it's been really, really nice. So like I said, I'll do dinner and work out or vice versa and then a shower. And then I go sit at my desk and I paint things. And um, and it's been a really nice way to kind of wind down at the end of the day. So um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where things are. Um, I'm hoping that by, by my weigh in on Monday that I will have finally broken past that couple of pounds that I've been gaining and losing over the past couple days, 10 days, I guess. And, um, but I'm really, really grateful that I've been able to be consistent with my workouts and that, um, that I've been doing longer workouts and I've been still continuing to see improvement in different positions, being able to either find a modification that works better for me so that I can hold it longer, like the full counts of things, um, or being able to just get in it a little bit deeper um, and longer than, than I was before. So um, I've, I've been, been really grateful also for the live workouts that instructors are doing, especially for Kristen. She's my favorite and, um, and I, I have just benefited so much from, from her doing that um, and, and helping me to push past some of the mental stuff um, just because I want to I wanna be there and, and work out with her and, um, and support her and all of that. And so that helps me to kind of push past me. Um, so I'm really, really grateful. And then her workouts are super challenging. And so I always come out of each workout having done something that I wasn't able to do before or do it better than I was able to do it before. So I'm super grateful for that. Anyway, that's the update from day 111. I don't know when my next workout, my next workout, my next update will be, um, but uh, I will keep posting as much as I'm able to. And I figured today was a, as good a day as any because I actually put makeup on for a work thing and I wore a tiara during my work thing as well. So, uh, so yeah, so I just left it on for y'all. Anyway, I hope y'all are all doing well and staying healthy and staying safe and um, making the best use of this kind of slower pace of life, if that is the case for you. I know that there are a lot of people that are still having to, to work out of the home and it is definitely not a slower pace for you and in which case I hope that you're hanging in there and thank you for continuing to um, to do your job to its best to your best uh, for us so anyway I'm gonna stop talking now thank y'all for listening and I'll see y'all next time